Welcome back to our next distance learning video. We're still in work guide two and we're in unit two, but now we're going to begin our first lab for this work guide. We'll be working on constructing a field map. In this case, the construction portion, we're thinking of it now more as interpretation because I'm gonna do the drawing for you considering the environment. Now, here you have a similar setup as you have in your other labs where you will have vocabulary that you need to define within your lab report page and there will be questions that are associated with the report page as well that goes with the map. Now, this is the access point that I have on the screen and I think this is probably the best place to work through your lab rather than having both the blank notes and the access point up simultaneously might be too many tabs. <clears throat> so before I go over these questions, I want to share with you the map on the next page. Some of these access points are from last year, so you can disregard some of them, like the fact that I'm not going to ask you to use this interval to connect all of these isotherms. Instead, I've done that for you, for you to do some interpretation. It is important to know though that I am counting up two degrees C every space between my isotherms on this map. In this map, we are looking down from the ceiling to the floor. So we call this an aerial view. This is a satellite view, bird's eye view. Those are other terms you may have heard. So yes, this is supposed to be the layout of a classroom and there is a fire in the middle of the classroom. This is a lab I've always used. I know it seems a little weird. Think of it like a post-apocalyptic film and we're living in a classroom. I don't know. Anyways, here's our fire. We have a value that I'm going to assign to the fire being 31 degrees Celsius. And I have a door. I have file cabinet, heater, cabinet, bookshelf, two computer locations, and I have letters located on our temperatures, F, E, X, and Y. So those will be used later for gradient. Now, in this particular case, you do have a map scale, just like we used the map scale on our previous guided practice and independent practice questions for us to measure the distance on the map. So let's see how this map is gonna be used with some of the questions. So here we have questions with my access point annotations to help you get through this. So here we go. Number one, this is asking you about an energy source. I'm letting you know heat source. We've sort of just discussed that. Down here, we do not need to draw any lines. However, it is good for you to maybe go back to an old video, <laughs> maybe the last video, and see how you might be able to answer this question with the information I used in an example. Down here in three, you're calculating gradient. Four, A and B, you're calculating gradient. You're gonna use the formula, you're gonna fill it in, you're gonna solve it with correct units for each of these. Five, this is something you might need to research, but I think if you read my annotation access point here, and you think about the classroom orientation, you should be able to answer that. Number six, this is the definition, and you're providing me the vocabulary word that works best. So with this, make sure you, you take your time. It's not a long lab. We're here to help you. Don't forget that after you finish this lab, there will be a final checkpoint on fields and gradient that follow after this. See you on the next one.